India's fleet of Su-30MKI is about to get a more powerful modernization. Manufacturer of Russia's Sukhoi brand of fighter aircraft has offered the Indian Air Force a proposal to carry out a major modernization of India's fleet of Sukhoi Su-30MKI multi-role air superiority fighters. What benefits will the upgrade mean for the Indian Air Force? Sputnik investigates. On Thursday, Urquhart Corporation President Oleg Demchenko confirmed that the company had made a proposal to the Indian Air Force to modernize its fleet of Su-30 MKI fighters. The official said that the modernization would significantly expand the plane's combat capabilities. Urquhart says that the company can build the necessary infrastructure to overhaul the Su-30 in India itself, while integrating new weapons and upgrading. The Su-30 MKI, built under license by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, is India's variant of the Russian Su-30 heavy all-weather, long-range multi-role fighter. The plane, expected to eventually form the backbone of India's Air Force as it retires older planes, was developed in the early 2000s, and began to be assembled in India starting in 2004. The Indian Air Force now has a total of 230 Su-30 MKI, with plans to order up to 84 more. Negotiations on the modernization of Su-30 MKI are continuing with the Indian Defense Ministry, Demchenko said, with the company presently preparing the necessary documentation. Long emphasized the Su-30 MKI's impressive upgrade potential, particularly its open, block, architecture for its onboard radio electronic equipment. What specific upgrades are included in the major modernization? Demchenko did not go into details. All that's been revealed is that the aircraft's onboard systems will be modernized, and that new types of weapons will be integrated. However, according to Indian sources, the Indian Air Force plan is to upgrade India's fleet of Su-30 MKI, beginning with a batch of 80 Su-30 MKI to Super Sukhois, equipping them with a bevy of improvements, including advanced radar and weapons. The contract, estimated to be worth $7 to $8 billion, would turn the plane into a near fifth-generation aircraft, officials said. The Super Sukhoi program includes a modernized cockpit, advanced avionics, semi-stealth characteristics, Longer-range 300km standoff missiles, featuring an infrared homing system, and can be equipped with the Indo-Russian BrahMos cruise missile. The upgrade also features an active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, a powerful early warning and jamming system, as well as new software for the planes on board systems. Other subsystems, including a multiple ejector rack, enabling larger payloads, are also proposed. Last month, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, the state holding to which Urquhart is a subsidiary, offered to integrate engines from the Su-35, Russia's new 4 plus generation air superiority fighter, into the modernized Indian Su-30 MKI. The AL-41F1S engines used by the Su-35 far exceed those of the AL-31FP engines currently used by the Indian Su-30, according to CEO Alexander. In their upgrade plans for the Super Sukhoi, Delhi had publicly contemplated switching to non-Russian designed engines to make up for the AL-31's perceived shortcomings. However, equipping the planes with Russia's advanced new engine, as Russia has proposed, would certainly sweeten the deal for the Indian Air Force. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.